This video documents a small test on a PA0RDT mini whip. The whip's mounted outdoors in a test location at least 15 metres from any buildings or power lines or uh, other structures. The test setup includes a ground stake that's driven about 400 millimetres into very wet clay. And you'll see that to the right of the white pole. The white pole is a plastic pole slipped over a wooden stake, so it's non conducting. Um, Mounted at 1.6 metres up the plastic pole is an ICR20 battery powered receiver and the mini whip amplifier uh, also battery powered. Then above that uh, there's a, a wire 800 millimetres long up the pole clipped to the top of the mini whip module. So electrically the receiver is sitting 1.6 metres above the ground. There's 800 millimetres of wire above it to the top of the mini whip module and uh, wire down to the ground electrode at uh, ground level of course. Moving in close to the receiver and apologies for the shifting a little bit in the wind. This is the initial test setup with uh, a wire from the ground side of the VA0RDT mini whip down to the short ground electrode. 1.6 metres long and 800 mil wire above the mini whip. Let's firstly explore the effect of disconnecting the lower wire from the ground electrode. So we'll still have about 1.5 metres of wire downwards but not connected to the ground electrode. Quite a drop in S meter reading from about half scale and a lot of buzz. So that's um, quite a deal for it. Let's take the entire ground connection off the receiver. Very little S meter reading and entirely useless because of serious intermodulation buzz on the signal. So the conductors and the ground below the receiver are vitally important to its performance. So what happens if we take the top wire off? The reception's totally gone. Uh, the um, signal's just all buzz, or the receiver's just all buzz, and no sign of the NVB. So the notion that here is a standalone small receiver, it totally depends upon the bit of capacitance in the plate above the PA0RDT mini whip, is not supported. There's the bare mini whip amplifier with again the one and a half metres of wire hanging below the amplifier. The MDBs actually can be heard. It's not very strong and a lot of buzz, but it can be heard. Clearly, this has made a big difference to the whole receive assembly operating standalone with no wires hanging below it. That's the ground wire, uh, or the lower wire connected to the ground electrode. A small improvement, not a great deal. But just to now reconnect the top wire. And a dramatic improvement. So, what we've demonstrated here is that the receiver depends upon the ground connection below it, or at least the wire below it, but preferably a ground connection in this case, and it depends upon the wire above it. But the self-contained receiver with mini with uh, bare was a very poor performer, basically no reception. Now, here's the troubling part, which is that let's turn the attenuator off of the receiver input. Tuning 
around. The receiver's hopelessly overloaded, taking the top bit off. Still hopeless, but you can hear the MDB in the middle of all the other modulation noise. Taking all the wires off. That's not the answer either. The lots and lots of buzz. A whisk was a sign of the, uh, of the MVB in there. Again, tuning around. Just broadband hash. Quite hopeless. 